guys so I'm here with quite an exciting and different haul video um as I'm recording this yesterday I went to the Harry Potter studios with Beth um the first time I went there I went there with Shay we went there earlier this year um but Beth and I went yesterday for the Hogwarts in the snow and it was incredible we had a really good day um I did vlog it, so if you want to watch my vlogmas day 5, um, you'll see our tour around the Harry Potter studios. Um, and yeah, it was really nice to see it all decked out for Christmas. Um, but I thought that I would show you the things that I picked up from the gift shop. Um, the first time that I went, um, Shay and I, we didn't have much notice that we were going. We had like a week because we, someone cancelled and couldn't go. So we basically bought their tickets from them. So this, this time I'd kind of saved and budgeted because I knew a couple of things that I wanted. Um, so yes, the first thing I'm going to show you is, um, last time I went, I tried Butterbeer the drink and this time I tried the Butterbeer ice cream and you can get it in like a souvenir um, dish so I got my Butterbeer dish so let's have a look in here so the first thing that I got was some fizzing Whisbees um, the last time I went I got a chocolate frog um, so I decided that I didn't want to get a chocolate frog this time around I'd, I'd get something else so these are milk chocolate fizzing Whisbees and they're sort of milk chocolate with um, fruit flavoured popping candy. So I'm really excited to try those. And I just love the packaging of them. They're so cute. Um, I actually got my brother peppermint toads. And he's almost eaten them. <clears throat> so yeah, I can't show you those because he's almost had them. So let's have a root around in here. Oh, I put this in here because I don't think I showed it the last time I went. But the last time that I went, I picked up... Um, the Slytherin Wax Seal Kit. Um, and then afterwards I found, like, I was so convinced I was a Slytherin and actually I'm a Ravenclaw. But I bought this the last time I went, but I don't think I ever showed it. Okay. And then I bought um, a Chocolate Frog key ring. So it's got, like, the cute packaging. And then this, this frog actually kind of smells like chocolate which is a bit insane. <clears throat> I don't know how long that will last for. Um, but yeah, I like that then you've just got, sort of got the chocolate frog sort of forever. Um, I did want, the last time I went, they had like, I think it's a badge, um, but it's quite big and it's like a metal box that opens and the frog's inside it. So it's kind of like an everlasting chocolate frog, but they didn't have any this time, which was disappointing. Um, have a root around I'm sorry if you can hear the rustling guys um I did buy another key ring I got um Slughorn's Hourglass as a key ring so it looks like this and um I, I like that in the the movie um it's an hourglass that times it goes quicker um the quicker it goes the more interesting the conversation is I think um so yeah and it is an actual timer the sand does actually go through it and I just thought it was really nifty I was torn between this and a time turner one but I thought this was just a little bit different and it'll just say it's my favorite color which is green but yeah I'm, I'm too actually scared to use those as key rings if, in case they get damaged I don't want them to get damaged um then I also got some chocolate frog earrings um I was determined to get these <laughs> so yeah a bit like the key ring they've got the chocolate frog packaging and then they've got the frog on them there this was um, one of the things that I had had set in my mind that I really wanted then I picked up a bookmark and it's a little Ravenclaw bookmark because it's in the package and it's quite hard to see but it's the house crest and then um, a little Ravenclaw on the top there <coughs> and then the main thing that I had my heart set on um that I was determined to get um was the Marauders map uh, I haven't taken it out of here yet I'm too scared to in case I can't fold it back up um but this was the one thing that I kind of had my heart set on and it's quite expensive it's 30 pound um, and I saw it the last time we were there and I was like there's there was no way I could justify it but this time I kind of saved so that I could buy it um so yeah I've got the Marauders map that's the thing that I'm most sort of excited that I got and then I did like I said I did buy someone's 
Christmas present there and I really wish that I could show it but I can't because they'll they'll see it so it will spoil it um so I have to leave that out and then Beth and I this year for Christmas we didn't know what to do sort of for each other so we said well why don't we just as we're going so near to Christmas to Harry Potter why don't we either buy each other something while we're there or give ourselves you know an extra 20 pounds spending money um while we're there so we did that we said to each other well you know we'll give ourselves 20 pounds and then we both saw the same things and they were bang on 20 pounds and she was like well that would be perfect if we both want one we could buy it and say that's our Christmas present from each other <clears throat> so it comes in this really really nice box like this and then you open it up it comes all like with this and then like so it's the house pens and they're quite heavy um so they are like metal and apparently they're silver or um gold plated how much of that is in there i don't know um, but obviously i'm a ravenclaw <clears throat> so this one is mine it's really really nice <clears throat> i can't take it to work because people will steal it um pens don't last well in an office if any of you work in an office you will know pens are like gold dust and they just disappear but i absolutely love this and it is refillable and um, you can unscrew this here and apparently you can just buy biro refills and it will go in there so yeah i thought that was really really nice so um beth got the slytherin one i wanted the slytherin one because obviously Slytherin the last four letters of Slytherin are my name and it's green my favorite color like but alas I am a Ravenclaw so I played by the rules <clears throat> and I got my Ravenclaw pen but I absolutely love it <clears throat> I don't know if I'll ever take it out of its box like I'll use it but I, I want to keep it in its box because it is beautiful um and then the last thing that we got um, as you go around the tour you can um there's sort of photo experiences as you go around <clears throat> and I didn't do any of them last time um but what we did we sat in the Hogwarts Express one so they have sort of the seats set up um and green screens so it's like you're on the Hogwarts Express on the way to Hogwarts and like the scenery goes by chocolate frogs go on the window um and every so often um like the cameras there um, there's a camera set up um shouts instructions at you to like look happy or look scared and it takes several photos and at the end of the tour you can choose one or more of the photos that you want um you have to pay for them but they also give you a download so you buy the physical one but then you also get a downloaded copy um and beth and i we went for our scared photo and it is rather funny I don't know how well you can see that, but it's hysterical. As soon as soon as we saw it come up on the photo screen as an option, we were like, that is just hysterical. Um, so I absolutely love that. I'm thinking of, I don't know whether to keep it in there or to get a nice frame or to get a copy of it so I can put one in a frame and keep one in there. I don't know. But that's everything apart from one thing that I can't show you um, that I bought at the Harry Potter Studio Tour. If you haven't been... Um, and you've been thinking about it, I would definitely recommend it. It's really um, quite amazing. And going at Christmas, <clears throat> or when it's set up for Christmas, they have the Great Hall set up um, like it is in Goblet of Fire. And um, then when you reach the restaurant bit, um, and there's a picnic area and stuff, um, they actually had um, like snow, snow machine, um, but you couldn't see the snow machine. So it was quite magical. You just um, had the snow coming down while you're out sort of by the bridge and the night bus and stuff. It was really, really good. It was an excellent day. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all soon.